Hi, good afternoon and welcome. I'm glad you guys could tune in um, this afternoon. Today, what I want to, or what we want to discuss, I've got Jan. Jan from New York City saves money alongside with me. I'll bring her in shortly. But one of the things, or what we want to talk about today, is how to keep ourselves out of debt. So I'm going to go ahead now and bring in Jan, and we'll get this underway. Hey, Jan, how are you? Hey, Steve, how are you? Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well, as always. Welcome to Steve's 1.30 every single Saturday afternoon chat. Yeah. It's so good to be here. Thanks for having me again, Steve. Oh, you know, man. Steve, oh, thank you. You know, Steve, we often talk about how to get out of debt. Everywhere you hear how to get out of debt, how to get out of debt. How come no one talks about how to prevent going into debt, yeah. avoiding going in, right? <laughs> Let's do the prevention because I was taught, and I believe my parents were right about this, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Sure. So Steve, what I'm just going to briefly touch upon uh, today Simple, simple ways, not like brain burners, simple ways to avoid going into debt in the first place. Before I get into that, I just want to say this. Your mindset makes a big difference. One really has to want to. So with that in mind, you really want to do it. Let's jump right in. Number one, reject. I like this word. Reject any impulse shopping. Now, I know we're in the midst of the season, and we're not going to focus on that because there's enough discussion about gifting and all this and all that. But even not being in the middle of this season, we could turn on the TV, and there are those enticing ads. There are those channels. I could sit down and watch those shopping channels as pure entertainment. You know what I mean, Steve? They're fun to watch. But I have trained myself to not make the purchase. When I see a cake that requires five easy payment plan months, that's a red flag to me. So I am going to reject any impulse shopping. That's one thing. And that's a huge thing. Next, learn how to say no to well-meaning invitations. I know I might have touched upon this in either my channel or other videos but now more than ever, because the mindset is that we want to avoid getting into debt in the first place, it is okay to say no. We can give ourselves permission sometimes to say no. We can't be perfect person and say yes to everything. Does that sound about right, Steve? <laughs> Saying yes to everything is just not realistic. Next, cut corners on groceries whenever possible. One of the greatest things about the grocery budget is that it's not like an absolute, like you need four walls, you need clothing. But with food, you do have a wide range of um, choice. You don't have to have prime rib every night. You could go for other things. You could get cheaper cuts of chicken. Those are its own videos of which Steve and I have done ourselves in the past. And we'll probably do some more in the future regarding how to shop at the grocery store. But mm -hmm. next one is oftentimes people say, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't believe in it. Meal planning. I am huge on meal planning. Meal planning. Doesn't mean, right, Steve? Doesn't mean because I wrote down on a piece of paper that Monday night I'm going to eat spaghetti and meatballs. Does that mean I absolutely have to have spaghetti and meatballs on Monday night? No. When I'm planning my meals, I'm planning the components, what I will need to perhaps create spaghetti and meatballs on Monday. I will have the ingredients ready. I will shop for the best prices. I won't hesitate to buy manager special. And if you buy manager special items in the meat case, please make sure you do two things, one or either. One, immediately freeze it, not let it wait in the fridge. Or if you plan to use it that very day, if not, immediately freeze it. The other thing is cook it yeah. right away so there's no right, so there's no waste of money. Next, yeah. set a goal. Set a 
goal to realize that to be debt free is to actually be actually free. Because guess what? The money that you are no longer applying to debt, to credit cards or to other debt, whatever, that money can be used for building your wealth, for savings. Some people are addicted to paying off credit cards or to being in debt. That's all they know. They can't believe that they can live a lifestyle where that's not even part of it. The only main things they're paying for, for example, are basic things like clothing, utilities, food, and not living the debt-free life. When you get to that place in life, everything can only get better. So we can make the decision to prevent going into debt instead of just digging out of debt. Do you have anything you want to add to that, Steve? Well, yes. Coming back to, um, you know, the impulse buying, there, why don't we do this? Um, yeah, impulse buying is very tempting, but just do this. This is probably the best method. Go back to the way we used to do things when we were children necessarily say get a piggy bank if you have one and you want to use it that's fine save up for it instead of yeah. laying out 250 300 whatever amount of dollars it is you want to buy this particular thing you just have to have save up if you set up if you decide you know 30 40, 50 a month in three or four months boom you'll have your money there it is and you just go pay for one boom here's your money you pay cash for it voila you got it then that impulse want of wanting to get whatever it is is not is out of your system but now on hsn or qbc or any of these home shopping networks where you have like five easy payments of 29.99 or 39.99 whatever the case may be what I like about that, and again, I'm not encouraging people to do this, but there is an advantage. What I like about the Home Shopping Network is they bill you each month that amount, the 39 the 20 and, and, and it's interest-free. So in some ways, it's almost like you're paying cash for the item in a way. because. But again, that also depends on the cardholder, too. If you snooze, you lose, you're going to pay interest. But right. if you if they put the charge on the card when it shows up two three days later, boom, you pay off that that amount until they you know they continue to bill you until the last payment. As long as you stay on top of it, that's a good way. I've never bought anything off the home shopping network or QVC. I've been wanting to do so though, but I've never. Done it. But that's not what I'm trying to encourage. Save your money. 40, 50, 60 a month, set it aside, four months, three months, whatever the denomination of money is, you'll have your cash and just go buy what you want. Here's an example to prove Steve's theory is 100% correct. I'll give you guys the theory. What is the surprise about Christmas being on December 25th? Do we not know on January 1st that next Christmas falls every year on December 25th? And yet people go into credit card debt, for example, or other different types of debt over mm -hmm. December 25th. That person could save, like you just said, make their own personal Christmas club, whether they put it in a sock drawer or a piggy bank or wherever they decide to keep it. That's not the point. It doesn't have to be. I had my savings goal all year long for the holiday season. I met my little girl. wasn't much. I just wanted to save up two fifty, and I had the whole year to just put a little bit away, a little bit away, and that's my Christmas budget. And I'm not going to get a stick of shock January with the credit card coming back bill. No, I don't want that. I never want that. The only time it's okay is if you know you have the funds and you will pay for it. It is a temporary loan to yourself to pay back. But none of us want to get into credit card debt. Steve, you're 100% right. If you want to save little by little, that's a perfect example. Christmas. Yeah. I mean, if you can set, again, it also is on 
you know, how many members in your family, you know, you, you need to shop for and all that, you know, cause you, again, it's not hard to take $50 a month, $50. And think about something. If you send January 50, 50, 50, all the way through till say now, you'll have close to $100, if not $600, 12 times five. But That's it. If you want to make it a little higher, you want to make it $60 a month, it's $720. You get my idea. And guess what? When you go out and shop, it's free and clear debt free. You don't have to pay. Oh, my God. I have a $2,300 credit card bill. Or a, yeah. how am I going to pay yeah. this back? Oh my God, what am I going to do? Well, guess what? There are, if and if a person winds up in credit card debt, so to speak, um, and you have more than one credit card, there is an out. So don't panic. And I will give that particular information out. Do yourself a favor. Look on your other credit card or cards. Look and see if you have any balance transfer offers that the APR is lower than the card you purchased on. You could very easily move that money over. It'll buy you some time. Yes. If it is interest, if you still pay interest, I guarantee you one thing, the interest a lot of the time would be lower if you moved it to another card. Maybe you get lucky. Tip. And, maybe you get lucky and you might find a 0%, you know. You, you never know. So there if, so even if you do wind up in credit card debt and you have about a $2,000 bill, don't panic. Just follow my rule. No. Get with a credit card company and do a balance transfer if something's available. And that's pretty much it. it that's what that and I the other do. thing, Steve, you know how like we get it? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm done. Sorry. Okay. I just want to say the way we get up in the morning and brush our teeth morning, noon, night, after meals, like we brush our teeth, like the back of our hand. We don't even think anything twice about it. We get into the habit of, of automatic savings. You could set up your account that whenever you get your pay or whatever, that automatically removed from your paycheck, just automatically goes into savings. You're not even thinking twice about it. And then look back in a year's time. We'll check your account all the time, make sure everything is mm -hmm. aesthetic. But in a year's time, that's painless, painless. People are going to get an increase in their Social Security very soon. Take a fraction of that, not the whole thing. If you could do the whole thing, yay. But if you if you can't, try at least doing half of it and putting it away. That's what I intend to do. Because here's the thing, we're all going to see that 5.9% increase. So what I what do I intend on doing? I'm already used to living on the amount I already get before the increase. So I'm taking yes. that increase. I'm, that increase, I'm saving it. Yes, me too. So, you know. That's the that intention. Be, you know, in my case, that'll be an extra 400 and some change more in a year that I'll have that I didn't have say now or, or a year ago or whatever. But. So the bottom line is all of us can do it. We can avoid getting into credit card debt. I'm glad we have this chat, Steve. Yeah, so did I. So anyway, all right, everyone. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, like I said, be on the lookout on Tuesday, my recipe Tuesday. Last Tuesday, nothing went up. I do apologize, but I didn't feel very well. I wasn't sick. I just didn't feel well on Monday. And I wasn't in my right mind to record anything. And Tuesday, I was on the busy side yesterday. You know, I was busy um, with, you know, with, you know, my daily activity. But this coming Tuesday, you'll have a really nice, um, not only is it a recipe thing, but I'm kind of doing a product review at the same time. And um, so be on the lookout for that at six o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And um, that's about it on my part for the most part, um, you know. And then you know, you, and then you have your channel. So. Yes, I upload every single weekday morning, Monday through Friday at five a.m. Eastern. 
And on T Tuesday, I like to chime in at 10 o'clock Eastern. Um, as long as I decide to keep doing T Tuesday, that's not a forever thing, but at least for the next few weeks. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, I or we will see you guys next time. I hope you have a good remainder of your day. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.